My name's Gabrielle Vary and I'm the founder of Gabrielle Vary Knitwear. I create luxury knitwear from my studio in Sussex, from interior products through to scarves and cardigans. I grew up in West Sussex and then after graduating in Winchester I um, came back and I now live in East Sussex, just on the cusp of the Downs and um, also on a 10-15 minute drive from the seaside which is fabulous. Winning the 2014 My Country Business Award was really exciting and a real massive boost to my business. And getting some recognition from country homes and interiors was just brilliant, really exciting. I definitely saw a huge boost to my website. I suddenly had a lot more hits and I also saw that the Piccadilly scarf that I was wearing in the shoot in, in the Country Homes and Interiors magazine was suddenly my best seller. I couldn't sell enough of them. I kept on making them, I kept on selling them. Um, so that was really great to see because I just knew that people were coming to me and saying, oh, they kind of recognised my face and they'd seen me in the, in the magazine. So yeah, it was great. I also got to be in the Heels Craft Market um, after being featured in Country Homes and Interiors, which was brilliant. Hills is an amazing shop and I managed to sell my work in their flagship store in Tottenham Court Road. So that was a really exciting point for me as well. I sell mainly my work online. Um, I sell through my own website um, and I sell on Not On The High Street, which is a really popular website. The main inspiration to my design work stems from my degree when I did a whole project on holiday memories from when I was younger. I come from a very sort of surf background being right near the sea and we'd go off to Cornwall and Devon and have these beautiful like camping holidays where we were just in the fields down on the beaches and the, the sort of photos and the old sort of sepia toned photos of those memories I used for my degree work and just the colours that come through and sort of beautiful pattern work from, yeah, from the, that sort of era. It's just lovely. So I moved into my studio just before Christmas and I've been there now, yeah, for about six months. I was in my bedroom, in my second bedroom in my house um, and I just sort of out, outgrew it really, which is great because it means I'm expanding. So um, it just means I've got so much more space now and light and um, I have all my colourful cushions and work around me, which is really inspiring. My main ethos when um, I started my company was to create a really luxury brand. So I wanted to source the finest British spun wools. I wanted to find the beautiful, like soft wools that you could. Um, everything's handmade, so the precision of the production is really important. Making sure that that end product is is a fabulous, beautiful product is is really important to me. So if I have a design in my head, I start off by knitting it onto the machine. It can take anywhere from half an hour onwards um, to knit a piece of fabric. My scarves usually take around an hour to knit. And then it's just quite a long process of having to cast off, steam them all out, making sure that they're all okay. I then take them home and then wash them and then hang them up and, and then steam them out again. So it can be a few sort of a few day process for each scarf. I think my favourite thing of the business is the finished product, of seeing your hard work pay off and a beautiful product emerge from, from the designs in your head. Um, I think the, the sort of process of making a product is very sort of, can be quite methodical and repetitive, but I quite enjoy that, that aspect. But definitely, yeah, the finished product is, is great to see. I'd say a lesson that I've learned is just to always be true to what you want the business to be. Um, don't try and make it something that it's not. Make sure that you absolutely love it through, through and through because you live with it day and night. It's not just a business, it's basically my life is, is what I do. So, so you have to love it, you have to be passionate about it and just to kind of make sure that, that you do.